All right, YouTube, thanks for watching uh, Burnt Piston Racing. As you can see here, we got the 1978 JR50 Suzuki. Um, this bike was uh, given to my brother on his, I, I believe it was his fourth birthday back in 1978. Um, I wasn't even born yet. And uh, he had it. I was born in 1980. Um, my brother rode it for, when he was younger. And then when I was about six or seven, I learned how to ride it. And I used to drag race it as well. I'm at a local dirt drag, if you believe it or not. But that was my first bike as well. Um, 2015, my kids just started riding it not too long ago. Um, I've got twins that are six, and this is the the uh, bike that they just recently learned how to ride on. If you if you watched the previous video that I just uploaded, you can see both my kids their first time first time on the bike. Um, no training wheels, they uh, did really well. Um, they've ridden four wheelers a bunch. If you look back there, that's their. Uh, one of them, that's a little Sportsman 90, and they've got a Yurf dog, and they've got another Sportsman, so they ride those as well. Um, so Payne and Patrick have gotten into wanting to ride that. So what I've done is, uh, this is my first kind of explanation of this channel. Um, what I've done is my kids said they wanted to race, and they wanted to get into racing. So I, I thought about it. They just turned six. They're kind of tall for their age. So last weekend, I went and purchased these two bikes. Um, they are 2011 King Cobra Senior 50s. Um, these bikes were uh, purchased from a local racer. He's uh, I know he was really good on, you know, I guess PW50s. I think he uh, raced KTM 50 some, and he had gotten these. And it was something where his family uh, they were going to race Cobras, I think, but then they decided to go back to KTM's um, because they weren't very happy with Cobra. Uh, so he ended up was looking to sell these, and I got them. Um, this one right here, uh, this one, and they're both almost identical, but I think that one over there has a uh, newer top-end work done to it, um, where this one uh, has top-end or motor work done, but uh, it's got a little bit more hours on it. So uh, this was considered the practice bike. Um, overall, they're pretty much very similar, um, except for this one's a little bit rougher seat cover. Um, here, it's got the plastic coming off. Uh, they both, you know, they've been they've been ridden in uh in and everything. I, from what I was told, that one over there wasn't really raced a whole lot. Um, I think he maybe had like three hours of race time on it, um, or maybe not even that much. That's just what they were were guessing. Um, they were well taken care of. Uh, supposedly, transmission fluids would change change every two hours of ride time and all that stuff, like the book says. And uh, um, their family seemed to be pretty pretty up on uh, maintaining their their stuff um, when we got there that one the race one started right up no problem this one would not start uh, and when they finally got it started it was it didn't want to run without the choke on and ended up being a seal behind that cover that seal was a uh, need to be replaced so um, they basically did all that while we were standing there um, checked out the carburetor and, and did a bunch of things um, so they were actually able to fix it and the thing starts on the first kick now and uh, actually both of them start in the first kick so what I'm looking to do uh, my kids uh, they have mentioned wanting to race um, we've got friends who have just gotten into the uh, motocross scene um, my cousin Blake who's been in a bunch of videos and then my uh, a friend of ours Brian his son uh, is a little bit younger than than Peyton and Patrick and He's gotten into racing, and actually he has a, a YouTube channel as well. Um, I believe it's uh, Brian B. is the name uh, on the channel, and uh, he's got some videos of his kid uh, land and racing as well. So you might want to check that out. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, so we've thought about motocross, but I'm kind of nervous. Uh, <laughs> my kids have ridden that little JR50, and these bikes here are huge. Uh, I bought these bigger Cobras because I didn't want to spend all that money and then within like six months or so my kids are, are too big for them and ready to move up um, So these are for them to grow into um, My kids watching videos and stuff. They talk about wanting to drag race uh, dirt drags So that's another option that we might look into um, my brother's pushing us towards flat tracking, which uh We'll see about that one. <laughs> that could be a possibility and then uh, we've had three people this past week talk about um, maybe doing hair scrambles um, how that uh, to them seems safer than motocross. So if you've got any kind of input, um, and maybe it's the safety of uh, motocross or 
um, your thoughts on dirt drags or flat tracking or uh, any of that stuff, uh, leave a comment let me know. Um, but what I'm going to do with this channel, uh, go ahead if you're watching this for the first time and you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Um, that way you can keep up to date. But I'm going to try to videotape my kids learning to ride these, um, practicing, and the equipment we buy and, and in different steps what we decide to do and going to the races and at the races and in the pits all that kind of stuff so I'm gonna try to make it a a cool channel uh, maybe get my kids even doing some of the recording um, as well walking around talking to friends and stuff like that um, at the races it, once we get actually get into it but uh they're gonna need a lot of practice but um we'll get that on video as well so thank you for checking out uh, burnt piston racing and these cobras and uh be sure to subscribe and check back later on as I get some more videos up. Thank you.